Hello everyone, my name is Ian. Welcome back to my YouTube channel in brief book and film reviews. So today I just want to come online quickly and give a review to this album uh, before I go out. This album is called Green Day 24th Century Breakdown. Uh, really, really interesting and good tracks on this and that. Um, before I tell you about the album, what I got from it, what I thought of it, uh, just tell you a bit about the band. Obviously, uh, many people have, would have heard Green Day, but for those who haven't, go check them out. Uh, they're a band who comes from America and the Los Angeles area. Um, they, they, they're actually uh, well into the 50s now, and they would have been in the game around about 1988, you know, very young, very tender, 14, 15, 16, that type of age. And they had, I think, seven albums out before, previously before this album came to light. I remember uh, uh, they came to my attention, I would say, in and around about uh, 2000s, uh, 2000, yeah, about the year 2000 and stuff, and that I started hearing the stuff popping off on the radios and stuff. Uh, got a lot of uh, airtime play. Um, one of the songs that came out, I think, was previously uh, "Wake Me Up When November." Wake me up when I think September it ends. That song and I really, really like that song and a very catchy tune and that. And um, they've had other really, really good uh, tracks as well that I've listened to before this album. Um, so this album, I've just picked this out album out um, because I, I really liked it. I got it and um, yeah, some of the tracks on <coughs> with on this album that I like is. Um, a very catchy tune, The Last of the American Girls, uh, Mother City, Relentless Heart Syndrome. Um, I'll see the one as well up here, 24th Century Breakdown. Obviously, this is good, very catchy with the, the, the strumming and stuff on that. And um, Christian's Inferno, that was another good track as well on that. So, um, really uh, thought this album was good. The, um, they're like a... Um, punk rock punk rock band and stuff and that and uh, uh i wouldn't say they're like a kind of like a, um um uh, what's it called the other guys what they call limp biscuit i do not really like them they're more kind of really fast paced kind of rock but re really good, good rhythm and stuff and that with it and that you know where you'd hear some rock bands that like, you, you can't even, you can't understand what they're saying these who and some of the, the um songs and that they speak they uh, kind of sing very very fast and i don't maybe had to catch one or two but as opposed to the usual ones and that i thought these were they were just kind of like a breath of fresh air and that when they came along when they really got mainstream they started popping off as i said on the radios and stuff and that so um yeah this is my uh, this is my album review for the week and that if there's plenty of tracks there on it there's uh i think there's uh 21 altogether yeah but 21 uh, this, no sorry so it's so bad. Sixteen tracks all all in all on it. Um, yeah. So if you're interested in listening to a bit of music and that that, that you haven't heard from before and that now Green Day, that, that I don't think they've released that in a long while and that you know that bands have their decades and have their and have their years and that. But you can definitely go back on this. This is like a classic album. You can go back on this and that and have a listen and it's really important that the youth as well they go back on some of this, the old stuff as well like the metallicas the guns and roses uh even like uh the thin lizzies and stuff and that you know when most of my family who are much younger they go back on on, on tracks like thin lizzie and stuff and that and uh, bon jovi as well so um yeah definitely one i think that you should uh listen to and that you can get the whole album obviously um on youtube and uh, have, a, have a listen to it and that so that's my review for the week and i uh, hope everyone's doing very well staying blessed positive gratitude as always and that and um, i shall see you again this time next week i have a really good book that i'm going to be re really good couple of books i'm going to be reviewing there uh, uh, in the next couple of weeks and uh, another really good film as well that i watched there i think it was on saturday i want a review for you there for next week and that you know and uh shenanish all right take it easy all the best bye, -bye.